Hello everybody, GamerPenny here bringing you another episode of our Night in the Woods Let's Play. We are gonna go see Greg, basically, so no one believes us about the person we saw. Um, I don't know if we've told Greg or not, I don't remember telling him, so maybe we'll talk a little bit about it, so... Sup, dude? Ugh. Ugh? Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? <clears throat> Just saying hello. We're gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Alright, gotta get ready for the, <laughs> for the buttons. Okay. Alright. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, oh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down to and down in the lobby up to the roof and pee off the side of the building. Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Oh, God. Pumpkin head guy. Oh, that's scary. Oh, jeez. Ah, are you kidding me right now? This is hard. Oh god. I can't wait to watch this back and read the, um, read the lyrics because I definitely am not reading the lyrics while we're playing this. I'm not talking while we're doing it either, so I apologize. Not too bad. We made a couple mistakes at the beginning. I'm assuming it's gonna get like weird hard at the end. Well. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious right now? <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> oh my god, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> well, we messed that one up. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> we messed that one up. Wow, May, that was uh, pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. <laughs> Whew. So fast. You just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I want to sound so husky. <laughs> and anyway, I don't know even... I don't... Oh, let's try this again. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who th I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after. While I was sleeping. Anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. Because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No. <laughs> no. I'm kind of freaked out. Probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, dudes. Okay, fine. <laughs> so we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghostly stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. For books about it? No, they have the local paper on file, going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there, probably. Oh, wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just a, like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind. Let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. <laughs> I hate the library. 
and see what the library has to say about it. Oh, kind of a cool library. Look, jobs! <laughs> Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after, some get, after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Okay, what do we get? Pumpkin head, dead, dead guy. We we messed it up, so we got a weird one. So I'm I'm assuming that this does affect our uh, our ending, if how we do it. So I don't know. We'll see. Hey, closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. <laughs> microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Slow night. Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Who's Larry? Alright. I can't jump or do anything, so we'll just go up to the third floor. What was that noise? Alright, third floor, here we come. Looking for the microfiche. Still can't jump or anything. Alright. Which one are we going to? The background's got a weird look. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ. Born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience mining, construction, well drilling. Never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be like guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You're gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? <laughs> okay. Look at that bear on the background. <laughs> what is that? That's a creepy bear. Holy crap! What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school? The school of being five freaking years old. Alright. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like, you were kidnapped by a cult, you were under some curse. You were kidnapped by a cult. And when they were like, brainwashing you, instead of some cult guy, with a wavy dagger and a magic mask. That's not, okay, yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? No, I was bored to death. <laughs> I was talking forever about like, being kind to others. And like, I don't know, helping an old neighbor do engine repair. That sounds nice. Charity Barity helps old Mr. Planko fix his hovercraft. Ugh, no, that's the worst part. It's always rhymed. Charity Barity, pink nightmarity. Charity Barity, I just don't care. -ity. <laughs> Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity, danger everywhere. -ity. That's vague and concerning. Could have just kept updating that one book. Okay. Are we, we're running out of sp Do we gotta go again to the third floor? Is this only the second probably? <laughs> Dang it, they tricked me. There's nothing else. I don't think we can go beyond the elevator to the other side. So let's go in it again. Going up. Yep. Ah, they tricked me to going on the second floor. All right, let's see what's over here. Sniff, sniff. Oh, wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. All right, well, that's even more impressive. So we're going to go find this guy? Because he took someone. And he's, like, somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. <laughs> it's okay, it was fine. <laughs> Poor May. Alright, so they're gonna go ghost hunting. It's like supernatural. <laughs> We're gonna go ghost hunting. This must be the microfiche. There we go. Alright, there she is. Cool. How do you use it? <laughs> so, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. Sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. 
No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aw, B. Aw. <laughs> Ugh. Are we friends, B Twist? <laughs> here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. <laughs> All right, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Okay, tragedy at Stafford Mine. Possum Massacre. We have two children aged seven to nine who were shot in cold blood has circulated for oh, really we're also shot dead okay i can't cl hmm this is interesting but yeah not exactly about a ghost what about this one no ghost to be found here the way you say ghost it sounds like you don't believe me all right just click strange but true a tale of teeth Oh wow, this is gnarly and awesome. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god. Okay. Final group of bodies from an explosion. This one? No ghost. Sound off opinion line. No ghost here. Ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. Hey, hey, hey. Ghost spotted. Historical society? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, I mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. Okay. Strike lumber is on. No ghosts here. Underground gases afflict many. Okay. Look what ghost little Joe edit again. Ooh, look. Scooch so I can see. Graveyard. That's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool. That's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. Ah, <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Okay, is there another ghost one? Pie piracy. <laughs> Any other ghost stuff in here? Progress. Albino groundhog. <laughs> no ghost here. Okay. It, there must be another one because it's not letting me do anything else. You Paula Connie mourns. No ghost here. Pain line, we did that one. Oh, spectral happenings. Here you go. Hey, look at this. Hmm, yeah. Looks like Possum Jump? Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Three clues. We got three leads. You're a regular detective. May Borowski, a detective of ghosts. All right, all right. Let's go. All right. We've got historical... So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no. Regardless. But do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job, so I can't drive you around to all of these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were, like, living in caves? 
Yeah, that's science. <laughs> oh my freaking god. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Oh wait, no, no, no. I don't do that. I thought I didn't know we were at the ground floor. I'm gonna go down. Uh, going down. So we're gonna go back out. And I don't know where we're supposed to go next. Can we talk to this guy? What is this? Oh, Selmer's. Ahem. What is... Shh. Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh, wow. Haven't seen her since graduation. She's always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. <laughs> Do you want to stick around for this? Uh, yes. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. They don't actually pay her in string, right? <laughs> yes, May. They literally pay her in string. I was just joking. Right. Ahem. Letter to my worst student. To my worst student, the subject of my stories, I tell friends back home when they ask about life out here in the sticks. It's you. I worry, at the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know. It was you. Brian. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? <laughs> Is that legal? What? Talking about details about students like that? She didn't name names. Yeah, she did. Okay, no full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time. Born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged. So it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. <laughs> Tunnel Frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark. To be a fisherman like me. But what do you know? Amphibi. That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. He definitely talks to the actual fish. Oh, most definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these funny, really funny dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called, There's No Reception in Possum Springs. Ha <laughs> She's not Ron. Arm, arm. No reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy, billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over a hundred generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs become rent paying jobs become living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water, alcohol, and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Force 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. They're in the house in the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Dang. Holy shit. Wow. Damn. Huh. She rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it hers? Nice work, Smelmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? <laughs> Poets of Possum Springs. Yay! Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Find out anything about your ghosts? Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings, clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. 
So I mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were they think were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. <laughs> is there an illegal one? Sure is. The historical society. You know you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum jump. Blech. I know possum jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome. And also, I'm scared to death. <laughs> okay, so we got... What do we got? Ta-da, it's Selmer's, a poet, a good poet, <laughs> thought, if I die, Selma should write a poem about it. Mr. Hall, oh, Selmer's. That's cute. Okay. Let's talk to our dad. Erg. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The erg. Yuppers. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We are. Just a bump. You two. Always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smart assness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. Oh, no TV? Okay. So we'll go up. Up to bed. Uh, we'll check the... Check the computer. See if we got any messages. couple of them. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. Falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just, just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? LOL. <laughs> Okay. Yo, I looked up the historical society, society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. <laughs> hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's pretty straight shot to up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. <laughs> this must be Casey. I'm assuming this is Casey here. All right. So we're going to head to bed. Um, I will uh, head to bed, and I'm assuming there's going to be another nightmare, so... We'll start with whatever happens after we go to bed in the next episode. So, I, guys, I want to thank you so much for the support on this series. If you guys do want to see more Night in the Woods, I'm not sure how far we are away from the ending. Um, I'm assuming that this is going to lead us to part four, the three places that we need to check out. So, um, that's going to be it for this episode. Make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.